Welcome to our backyard in Southeast Michigan. Uh, this is the rifle we're gonna test next. A Hatson Bully in a 25 caliber. And uh, we're gonna be in uh, the northern part of the Rocky Mountains up near a little town called Tinsleep. I think it was an area that the Indians camped and uh, did their hunting. This is a pre-hunt trip that we're making just to find the best spots for elk mule deer, pronghorn antelope. And of course, if we see some prairie dogs or uh, uh, some squirrels or rabbits on the way, we might just take care of them as well. Of course, I'll have to get the license to do that, but still a good idea. Uh, watch this video. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you wanna leave some comments, I answer them all. And if you wanna subscribe, making sure you see the third video then please do. Uh, and know that if you click onto a little picture off to the side with my face, you're gonna access our whole library of over 50 videos. We've got them on accuracy, different air gun reviews, in case you don't care about the bully being reviewed in this one. And uh, uh, just a host of subjects that I think you might find helpful in becoming air gun sharp. Well, we're up here uh, at about 6,500 feet uh, in the Bighorn Mountains, which is just an extension of the Rockies heading into Wyoming and ultimately Montana. Uh, with me here is a gun I must thank highly of because I own three of them. Uh, the 45 caliber <laughs> was nice big holes about the size of your thumb at a target. I have the 357, and in this particular case, uh, on this pre-hunt out into the Bighorns, I brought my 25 caliber, um, which is great for prairie dogs, etc., turkeys, uh, squirrels, rabbits, you name it. Uh, put my own scopes on guns, I like that. In this particular example, this is a uh, center point. That's made by Crossman, I believe. Uh, this is a three by 12, 44, and uh, it's got the luminance uh, sights in it so you can see your game in the early morning and in the late afternoon. That's when the big ones come out, by the way. It's got the nice uh, lever cocking tool. Uh, on all of my 25 caliber and higher, I put a, uh, a Donny FL moderator on the end. This happens to be the Sumo. I'll shoot it in a minute. You'll see just how nice and quiet it is. Uh, you have a cheek riser here. And I have to tell you, between the adjustments of where this scope is gonna be, and that depends on how big this uh, end of the scope's gonna be, uh, you're gonna need probably some high mounts. Well, you also need a cheek riser by pushing this button. We'll let this rise up and down and let you get to it. Now, some of the bad news is this thing weighs 10 pounds. And even with a sling, God bless slings, this thing can uh, this thing can get to be heavy, particularly at high altitudes where that air is a little thinner. Well, I love this country. Allow me to use a little cheat sheet here on the different bullies so that you know what's out there, what's available and what it does. Yes, it's available in that 17 caliber with the uh, velocity being 1,550 feet per second and the uh, foot pounds of energy at 45. And then there's the uh, 22 shooting at 1,400 feet a second and uh, 75 foot pounds of energy. The 25 caliber, <clears throat> I'm sorry, that 22 is 60 pounds of energy. The 25 shoots at up to 1,200 feet uh, per second. Now, I have to tell you, through this uh, butt plate, you can change that power. And when you go up to the maximum powers of this bully gun with this 500cc tank, I couldn't get the macrit. It just has those pellets flying in all kinds of directions. 
you'd want to use the heaviest slug possible, I think, if I was to turn the power all the way up in this gun. But at the, at 25 caliber, it'll go up to 1200 feet a second. And that's where you get that 75 feet, uh, foot pounds of energy. There's a 30 caliber model available. It fires at 1,070 feet a second. And uh, it has 115 foot pounds of energy, 115. Uh, 35 caliber, also referred to as a nine millimeter. Uh, Benjamin Crossman calls it a 357 Magnum, but it's really 35 caliber. And uh, it shoots at 910 feet a second, 150 uh, uh, foot pounds. And then there's the 45 caliber. I just got it, but I, I got it sighted in back in Michigan. 750 feet uh, per second is the velocity and uh, the foot pounds of energy are 290. So it doesn't have any trouble knocking something down. It only has a magazine of eight. I think I showed you this magazine here on the 25 caliber. Uh, gosh, I, didn't, I even forgot what it carries, but it it has a lot of rounds in it. And the 17 and 22 have even more. These guns will shoot about 50 times uh, in the 17, 22, 25 caliber. They'll shoot about 50 times, uh, keeping that, uh, at least 85% velocity, and then they'll start to drop. But 50 shots, that's a lot. Um, I don't like the way it's loaded. <laughs> uh, I like the American way. I was born and raised on Daisy and Benjamin and uh, Crossman guns, and I like the, uh, the uh, uh, female probe rather than the male probe going into the gun. I do love the uh, moderators. In this case, it's a Ronin uh, FL uh, Sumo, and it quiets the guns way down. In fact, why don't we just try that out and see how it does? If you watch my uh, video on, on moderator suppressors, uh, then you know that what moderators really do is change the sound. It doesn't necessarily bring the decibels way down, but it changes the sound to something not so intrusive. Uh, firecrackers, powder rifles, that makes a sharp crack, and that gets neighbors, other people very upset, very concerned. So to stay backyard friendly, a moderator changes that sound to a completely different funk type sound. Let me give you an example. Hopefully that showed you what I'm talking about. Well, let's see if this uh, hats and bully can hit a turkey, a paper turkey that is. Like I said, this is a pre-hunt. Well, let's see how well this turkey survived. Here's a shot that I did earlier with a a Gamo 22, but uh, here is the 25 caliber from the bully aiming for that eye. Again, you see this uh, this green mark here. That's where the brain of a turkey is, and I got that brain. Uh, sometimes you can hit them in the neck, and and it's a lucky shot, really. But it's in the center of the neck. Here are the bones, and once you hit that bone, that head flops over, and it's over. So those would be your two main shots for hunting turkey this fall. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Leave a comment, I answer them all. Click onto that little round picture of me and you'll access our full library of over 50 videos on different subjects about air gunning all in an effort to make you air gun sharp. See you next week in Wyoming in the Bighorns with an Armada.